is the men's doubles draw. Quarterfinal berths in this part of the draw, that's section three, all open. Corvé Labar are holding the hopes of the French fans that they're taking on Astrup and Rasmussen, and they'll play the winner of this match. But uh, Alfin and Ardianto and Liang and Wang still in this corner, uh, this part of the draw. And they're pretty good bets. Also, Li and Yang for quarterfinals berth. So the story evolving nicely in men's doubles here at the Adidas Arena. So here they come. Liu Qing Yao and Yang Po Han. First round exit at the last French Open. They were quarterfinalists in the German Open just last week. And last year for them was semi final appearance in the Australian Open. And also quarterfinalists in Thailand as well. As for the former world champions and former world number ones, Hoki and Kobayashi, well, they were out in the second round last year. And of course, they were third place finishers in India and in Malaysia as well this year. And of course, last year, runner up in the Japan and Australian Open, plus they won the Singapore Open as well. 4 0 on the head to head. Right, gentlemen, I have black or red. Red. It's red. Side. This side. They've taken side. Serve. Who serves? Hockey. Who receives? Blue. Yeah. Have a good match. Well, Chris, this is your discipline. Men's doubles, and of course, Hockey and Kobayashi, no strangers to this. Uh, to um, well, making the business end of tournaments. Yes, it's a difficult one because I think I do think Hockey and Kobayashi obviously they got a very strong head-to-head 4-0. -head pair from Chinese Taipei for me are the, they're so hard to know what you're going to get because right. for me they can no doubt play at a very high level. There's no question about that. But the inconsistency they have and you know, I looked into it. Their last 12 tournaments they have nine first-round exits. They have two second round exits. And then last week at the German Open was a quarter final, quarter and that's their final, best yeah. performance in 12 tournaments. And it's just because they, they struggled a bit. They've been competitive, but they hadn't managed to um, actually win any matches. Yeah, consistency has to be in their reliability as well when it comes to really making your mark. Let's see if they can carry some of that good form from Germany on here. That's their tournament results, and that's actually admirable. Carnando and Martin in 39 minutes, 21-14, 21-15. That is certainly an indicator that they have been firing well this week. But of course, on the converse side of that, Carnando and Martin are also guilty of losing a bit of focus every now and then. Definitely. It was a good win yesterday. Um, for the Chinese Taipei, no doubt about that. And obviously last week, so I think now a little bit of confidence is coming back in. Yeah, yeah. So Hoki, 28 years old, born in Yamaguchi, currently ranked sixth, and they were number one back in September 2022. Gold medalists at the World Championships in 2021, silver medalists in 2019. But they've also delivered very well at the Sudirman Cup, four-time medalist there. Ready to play. So they will definitely be holding the favorite title for this match. It was the Scotsman Dunnan Hall. 33 minutes, 21-10, 21-12. So both pairs flawless so far this week, haven't dropped a game. But of course, we were just saying that about Wang Ji. And we saw what happened to her against Tai Tsu Ying. Bert Van Horenbeek, the umpire for this one. And Mikhaila Benkova is back in the service judge chair. Well, Chinese Taipei. 
Uh, a couple of great and stubbles pairs. Lee Yang and Wang Chi Lin, of course, is the pair that comes to mind. Yang, Yang, thank you. And we're about to ready to get underway here. Oh, should be fast and explosive. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi, Japan. And on my left, Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han, Chinese Taipei. Takuro Hoki to serve to Lu Qingyao. Lovo, play. So Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han have just one win on the world tour. That was in 2022, the High Low Open against their compatriots, Jay Hui and Yang Po Swan. But they have been successful on the International Challenge Series. Five titles, three runner-up over the last, well, between 2014 and 2016. Service over. One love. Two love. A little bit of an uncharacteristic star here from the Japanese. Something they're obviously renowned for is their consistency, how solid they are, and how hard it is to win the point against them. And two fairly cheap points for a Chinese type paper. Yeah, very quick, short, sharp return. But we have seen that today. Pairs and players taking a little bit of time to warm up. Incredible shot there from Kobayashi, almost out of his pocket. Lovely cross court block. Signals are flying. Both pairs have a very distinct formation that they prefer. One. Japanese obviously having Kobayashi at the back and yeah. hockey at the net and Chinese Taipei is having Yang at the net and Lu at the back. Big power coming from Lu and then quick agility. Yang at the net. That's the wrong, wrong shot there from, from Yang. He's hitting with pace in an upward direction when his partner's at the net. It's impossible for Lou to be able to get this hit. That opens the partnership up. You can see Lou can't even get a racket on it. Oh, right now, it has been patchy to say the least in terms of rally consistency. Really good pressure there from Yang at the net, just keeping the pressure on. Over. You see here, Four. there, he gets the interception, Two. keeps the pressure on, follows it, chases it, and there. Just kind of gets Hockey in a difficult position, can't get it away, and then really easy put away at the end. So, 4-2, Liu and Yang edging ahead. And again, Five, very short, two. sharp, if you could even call it a rally. Yeah, and it's typical men's doubles. The rallies often are yeah, short and sharp, short, and sharp. it's about getting the attack. But it's just kind of a bit of a polar opposite to that, as in the Japanese, when they're getting the attack, we've had two to three fairly cheap mistakes that, you, you know, as I said earlier, you just wouldn't expect from them. Well, it's all about those first three shots, isn't it? When it comes down to it. Getting control over that service action. That's good movement really by the Japanese, good. that's great. Yang stepping in really well there, and it's so important for the net player. As soon Six, as you get that half chance, two. as soon as you put your opponents in trouble, you need to step forward, because either the shuttle's going to go over and it'll be your partner, which is right. Lou, the rear court player, or you've got to get that net. Yang stepped in really well there and applied the pressure. Serves over. 
three, six. to get really stuck in now. Four, six. I'm sure the Japanese have really settled quite yet. Yeah, they do look like they're just still finding their feet in a sense. That's of course an ideal opportunity for the Chinese Taipei pair to step up. Slightly edgy serve there from Kobayashi, really well read by Yang. Five seven after four minutes, and we yeah. still haven't really had a, a rally of sorts. Thing. Talk about tempo in terms of point evolution. Well, four minutes, twelve points. Oh, that's nice into the corner. Serve is over. Eight five. left and I've got to say Nine, it's not the five. normal start you'd expect from hockey hockey is a really really good net player and when he gets that chance normally he's very consistent just keeps the pressure on either gets the short right. lift or gives himself a chance to put it away and I've already seen three to four comfortable mistakes from himself at the net still hasn't quite um, that's this that's is what it, I'm yeah. expecting from yeah. him yeah and before that we hadn't there's seen there's that right. he hadn't maybe settled he hadn't found his Six, rhythm nine. that point should just give him the confidence to oh settle and relax and feel more comfortable in his favoured position at the net. So 6-9. And now beginning to see some flares of form from the Japanese pair. Nicely sent into the backcourt by Liu and Yang. Yeah, good vision there from Yang. He Ten, knows that six. hockey's job is to chase forward when he gets the chance. And he's just held it, allowed hockey to chase forward, and then just pun punched it over him again. And then he could see it was just the indecision from hockey. Was it in? Was it out? So just approaching the first mid-game interval. And it's a Chinese Taipei pair in control here. Nice. Just forced the Serve error. Over. A slightly Seven, loose serve, but good, ten. good aggressive return from Kobayashi. Committed to the return and good placement, good power into the corner. Oh, straight to the body. Serves over. Eleven seven. So Eight eleven seven at the break. And Liu and Yang have made a bright start here. Eleven 
So back on court for the second phase of game one. And still close enough between these two. That's a nice little drop in by Hoki. It's much better from the Japanese. Good work between each other as in Hoki at the net. Yeah. Good return and then looking for it at the net. Being ready, being aware. That's good placement from Kobayashi and then uh, good from Hoki at the net. Kobayashi just ready and waiting. Oh. Just another indecision. Good poke from Yang, but not a great shot. Just kind of indecision between the two Japanese who was going to take it. Good block from Hockey and then chases forward. That's his job. That's his role to give his partner Kobayashi the lift. And works really well and then there block steps in gets his part on the lift and big well-placed smash right to the middle of the body that's the hardest place to recover from serves over 13-9 Nicely switched in terms of flanks. He's such a big presence 14, at the back. Nine. For me, definitely the Japanese. You know, full credit to the, the Chinese type A pair. The Japanese, though, they haven't quite found their level. A lot yeah. more mistakes. You know, I'd say when they're performing to uh, the level you'd expect, they do have one of the best defenses in the world, and there's no doubt about it. Lou hits it incredibly hard. You know, he's a very big guy. Yeah. But the defense of the Japanese is not quite what we'd normally expect. A lot more mistakes and simpler mistakes. Well, they've still got a little bit of time left in this first game to correct those mistakes. But Lu Qingyao especially, as you can see, towering presence at the back. But I see what you're saying. He's not, he's not as incisive as you'd think to oh! oust Kobayashi and Hoki. Good angle there from Kobayashi, just bringing it down steep. Not about the power. There you can see how low Lou has to take it. He doesn't have a choice. He could have stepped in, but it's difficult when you know someone could hit the big smash because they've yeah. got the attack. Right shot there from Yang for me. Making his opponents move, stretching the partnership. It's just a bit too much pace, could have done with a little bit more height just to make sure it stays in. So 14 11 is the score. So with Hoki and Kobayashi. And that's a good point back for them. So they're closing it up. 12 14. left that well so after that 13, early burst of 14. points by Liu and Wang Hoki and Kobayashi now one point back that was sharp there from Kobayashi good serve racket ready not the best return from Yang but sharp on it Kobayashi to then punch in a corner and just be set one of those mistakes you were talking about and the frustration on Hoki's face just says it all 15 13 yeah and I think you know that's, that's very uncharacteristic played a great defensive shot that's a doesn't have to win it on that shot but it's a comfortable shot for him to miss that I'd be confident he'd make it nine times out of ten well, it seemed the 
like a very long service action by Lu Ching Yao. And at the moment, it's the shot selection from the Japanese. You can see after that, Hokey was quite frustrated with himself. He knew he played the wrong shot. He's in injecting pace in an upward direction when his partner's out of position. Yeah. Just haven't settled at all, the Japanese. So in and out at the moment. Well, as in it looked for a second that they were clawing it back, but now again, those errors creeping back in. And Liu and Yang doing well enough to not just capitalize on those mistakes. And also, that's a great example there, just sending that shuttle back. Oh, just too low at the end. I thought that Lou did incredibly well to get the partnership out of trouble, but he let the shuttle come to him. That's where he's got to try and step into it. Yeah. Too long. No, it's been called in. Challenges called in. Close enough that a challenge is merited. Japanese looked very confident it was out. Yeah, they were pretty much straight onto that. Oh, have a look out. at that. Out. Good challenge. 15, 16. 13, most developed rally we've seen so far and that's good from Yang. Yeah, Yang did did really well there 17 good interception 15. on it's this one here but it's gone central hockey's gone upwards through the middle and we know Yang's a great net player especially if he gets that chance of an interception Something which you would expect from the Japanese, just because they're very good at it, is the discipline of shot selection. Yeah. Generally, they are very good at choosing the right shot on you know, a regular basis, but I'd say okay. so far in this yeah. first game. A little bit confused. Yeah, it's been a lot of the wrong shot at the wrong time and quite an un kind of characteristic performance so far from them. Both pairs getting stuck in. That's a great play from Yang. Really made himself felt in this rally. Four. That's a great rally. That is great a great rally, rally yeah. Yeah, that was fantastic. And really impressive from the Chinese Taipei pair. You would never think, I mean, you know, I've kind of emphasizing it again, 15. but last 12 tournament, well, exclude yeah. last week which yeah. was a quarter-final, so take that out. The 11 tournaments before, and that's also excluding the team event that they played. We're talking about nine first rounds and two second rounds. Yeah. But the way they're playing today, confident. Now, does that just come from last week, performing and getting to a quarter-final? Possibly. More matches under their belt, more yeah. successive yeah. matches. But they, they, they're playing well, especially that last rally, really, really good. And they are troubling the Japanese, and I think that's obviously partly why the Japanese are struggling so much. So 18-15 on serve. Smash, good placement. Oh! Great smash, yeah. See when Yang Six took that defensive shot. See it here. Look how stretched he is. Look, it's a long 16, way away from him. So out of balance, and it's the placement on the attack. Phenomenal placement. Middle of the trams. Yeah. Really good smash from Kobayashi. Good place for him to pick that up and bring it back into court. Out. Serves over. 19 16. 
So 19-16 and possibly a chance to close out this first game. No good pressure Strings again gone. by Lou. It doesn't matter. See, Lou was chasing the net because his string had gone, but it didn't it didn't matter because the Japanese 16. couldn't keep it in. Couldn't handle, yeah, couldn't handle the defence. So, game points, four of them. After an altogether pretty complete performance by Liu and Yang so far, of course helped along by a few mistakes by the former world number ones. Throws over. Being careful about it. Oh, that's a nice shot by Hokey. Yeah, and I think Yang actually left that. Thought it was going out. 18. 20. And the quality of the game's definitely improved as we've gone, as we've oh, gone yeah. along. Yeah, yeah, the rally is indicative of that. See, there he's left it also. Really good placement. Managed to close it out just yet. In this shot here, there's nothing wrong with it because obviously Kobayashi's chasing. So Lou can't play a soft shot. He could have just put it over Kobayashi because then obviously it would have been hockey's backhand. Play now. So just a quick reminder to keep play moving. Are we going to see extra points? Nice movement forward by Lou, and he capitalizes on it. Yeah, that's brilliant from Lou. Great block, chase forward, fantastic net, and then comfortable First pull away. Found a lot of good space there. Yang so 21-19. 21-19. In a game that started off a bit patchy, but after that, both pairs finding their form. No, I just see him. Chances. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So back on court, or almost back on court. Three players back on court. And Second Yang. game. Oh, Han still. Oh, now he's back. So all important second game. Late. Oki and Kobayashi still showing a couple of cracks at the end of that first game. The question is whether Liu and Yang can now calm themselves. That was nice. Serves over. It's the thing with Yang, sometimes he can almost get just one. slightly carried away. One. And I'd say in that situation, he chased forward and put himself in a bit of trouble. And he's the one, he's the playmaker. He's the one having to chase forward. And he has the difficult job because he has no time yeah. to make the right yeah. choice on the shots. And sometimes he just gets the, the shot choice wrong and puts himself in more trouble by accident. Oh, oh. Very well placed smash Two. there from Kobayashi. Yeah. Perfect placement. And he's, you know, it's just what I said about there. Obviously, he's trying to do the right thing. Yang by chasing forward, but then he pushes it up to Kobayashi's forehand in an upward direction, which allows Kobayashi to just inject, inject pace on balance back at him. Good return of serve there. Yang. One, three. Absolutely. So, three one up for Hoki and Kobayashi in the second game so far. A solid start from them. Brilliant smash. Fantastic placement there. That's where the gap was, but the gap was really small. Four, one. There, brilliant. And he's off balance. You can see that. When you're off balance, it's obviously a risk because you can't cover yourself. Out. Serves over. Two, four. Oh, shaping up to be a much closer second game. Oh! Oh! Oh, Hoki and Kobayashi definitely Serves over. finding a bit of a form on this side of the court. Five, two. Great shot. And already the start to the second game from the Japanese, two. totally different. Stepping in, taking the shuttle early, yeah. finding the yeah. gaps, putting their opponents under a lot more pressure. So a 6-2 lead for the block number ones. Nice play by Yang. Serves over. Three, six. They play their cards right. Might just be able to catch up here. 
Certainly looks like Hoki and Kobayashi are up for business here in the second. String win there of Yang here on that last Seven shot. Over. That's another string on. Seven, four. It's the thing, that's why so integral players have so many rackets in their bags. Yeah. I was, I'm actually going to ask you, Chris, how many, how many uh, rackets would you get through in a game, in a match? I mean, it's... Depends. It could be zero. You could yeah. be fortunate. You could be up to six <laughs> in a match. Yeah, easily. Just could be miss hits. That could sounds be... costly. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's just any. It's all players will have their racket strung pretty tight. So the sweet spot in the center is so small, and you hit it outside that, and it's easy for the string to break. Or right. Um, and all different players will have it strung. Use different strings, thinner strings or thicker strings, more durable, or and have it at different tensions. Four. Also, you could. I mean, I've played in halls where I've struggled with timing and. Unfortunately, quite a few misses, <laughs> um, which resulted in a lot of broken strings. So, 8 4. Good rotation there by Hoki and Kobayashi. They certainly looking like they found their range now. And this is an ominous sign Nine, for Lu and Yang. Four. They're certainly not getting the kind of run of the shuttle that they did in the first game. Yeah, I think the drift slightly is going to play a part as well. It's a little bit easier now for the Japanese to try and get through. We've seen their attacks be more um, yeah. efficient or devastating. Well, they're finding that backcourt a lot easier, that's for sure. Much as we saw with um, Dechapol. Ah! Sapsiri earlier on. Service over. So we preferred this nine. nearer side of the court. Five nine, chance for Lu and Yang to close up this gap. Very, very late take Unsighted. by Hoki. Actually surprised he even managed to get close. Challenge coming. That was for that rushed shot by Yang, I'm sure, yeah, to I the back line. Just the, the line judge, they couldn't see because the oh, players were in the way, so it was unsighted. So it's no one technically is going to lose a, a challenge. And does it clip? Just out. Oh, what yeah. a mistake that is. Yeah. That's a gift. That was an absolute sitter. Because it really didn't have to have anywhere near that amount of power. The Japanese were in all sorts of trouble. Could have just been a. Yeah, and could have just tapped it down or killed yeah. it straight to the floor. And these are the things at this time, they're just little ones. And it was only a few, or an inch out, but these are the things that can make such a big difference. So closing in on the second mid game interval. And Hoki and Kobayashi in a much better position now. Eleven five. Quick turn and walk. As it gets netted. Eleven five at the break. You want your so-called body side? Chop top power service. Yeah, I'm the lefty. You soft service, you're really happy. You chop top power, you're only half half. Okay. So you image, if you chop top power, then you're so-called body side. No, no, okay. Stop. They go. Receive. Stop. 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 Yang. So Yang 11, once again, five. last player on court. Blake. <laughs> the real question is, can Hoki and Kobayashi secure the second game? Lu no. Yang overturn no, it. Here. That's a bit of a delay. When I say play, that's an instruction. We can't wait another turn. And that is well okay. warranted by Bert van Horenbeek.
combination by the boys in blue. Forces the error. Yeah, and it's just why it's so important now. The Chinese Taipei's have got to find a way of getting the attack because it is hard to defend down that side. When they do have the attack, they're going to have to work even harder to break through that side. But being on the defense is so difficult. That's how we saw it from the Japanese, who I said have one of the best defenses in the world, and they struggled down that end to defend. Four. Serve is over. Six, 12. Well, a quick dash in by Yang. One of the reasons Yang and Lou works so well. Lou's big, strong, physical player. He's got quite a simple game, as in his shot selection is, is very disciplined. Yeah. And, but he works really hard, and Yang's kind of the more flamboyant one. You never quite know what he's going to do, and that's why they work so well together. You've got kind of the randomness and the, the dangerousness yeah. of the moves that Yang makes, and then the really solid, hard-working, physical prowess of, of Yang. Now that's... Sorry, of Lou, sorry, at the back. Well. Pushed wide. That's one point back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's well left. So a couple of errors creeping in for Eight. Oki and Kobayashi again. Well. And all of a sudden, that lead that looked so solid a couple of shots ago is once again oh, oh. turned on its head a little. Still a bit of work to do for Lu and Yang. Good shot. Oh, that's a nice touch in by Hoki. Serves over 13 8. Thirteen eight. Kobayashi cleaning up at the back now. Steps forward. Really, really good cut out there from Kobayashi. Good coverage. Fourteen eight. And they're looking in a very good position here in the second. Certainly corrected those mistakes anyway. Service over. 914. Hey, nice play. Service over. That's what I mean to the Chinese Taipei's. It's not that they have to play no lift style, but it's so hard down, down the end, they're down to defend. First, first game, they look comfortable in defense. Second game, not being that yeah. at all. And they, they were helped along by a couple of positional errors by Hoki and Kobayashi. Then, as I said, they look to have fixed. Brilliant shot. Great variation, and you could see that in that 16, situation, Lou steps nine. back because he knows he's in trouble, and then I'm sure we're going to get to see it from this angle. But it's, it's fantastic stop drop, played to perfection. And Lou was so deep, and Yang was trying to cover, but he yeah. was also deep. They were caught flat at the back. So not only a well executed shot, but exactly at the right time as well. Sharp there, very sharp so from Yang at the net. 10 16. Do you think the hockey keeps serving to Yang's forehand? Yang's very forehand dominant, especially when he's at the net. Yeah. Needs to serve either slightly across him or if he is going to serve his Bury forehand, he's got to chase. Yeah. yeah, he's got a, some variation. Well, they are trying to keep pace with the score, but it's a revitalized hockey in Kobayashi. Everything keeps coming back. Oh, that's nice from Yang. Again, well matched. 
Brilliant again. That's wonderful from Kobayashi, who's been really on fire these last two or three points. Yeah, and the stop drop's so effective because the Chinese Taipei, they have to hold back because they got it just slightly, the power going against them with the drift. Yeah. If they chase forward, so almost feels like the shuttle's speeding up. So they're holding yeah. back, and then this stop drop's proving 10. so effective. Well, seven-point lead in the second. Looking good for forcing this decider. Factor there. I think they are too far back in the second game now, the way Hoki and Kobayashi are playing. Brilliant placement. Kobayashi again. Service over. 18-11. Oh, he's really stepped up. Hoki there, fantastic placement. You can see. Millimeter perfect for Lou. He can't even get a racket on it. Oh. oh, helped a little bit by the net, but they'll take it either way. 1911. out there chases it all the way down 20 game point 11 so nine game points So much pressure coming in from the Japanese, and they're just looking for that opportunity. Okay. And it's a fault of Luching Yao's racket. Game won by so 21 11, Hoki. and it's and on to a third Kobayashi. and deciding game to conclude this match. One game all. Oh, Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So back on court for the conclusion to this match. And the Japanese pair now very much back in form. Love all. Good 
drive from One Kobayashi. Long. Good pace, steps in, punches it. Just enough power. Well, oh, they do seem a little bit more cohesive now. They seem like uh, they're putting out a unified front. It didn't look that way in the first game. And it's a couple of big, big errors to kick off the third. Very wide Two from love. Lu and Yang. Oh, looks like another string's gone. Really sharp from Yang at the net there, and this is the thing, as soon as he gets a half chance, he's really good at, especially on his forehand side, putting pressure and then being active and looking for the next one, which is the integral part of being a net man. Hunting the shuttle. Well, I think that was flash photography. Yeah. And this is the thing, it's so hard. And oh, the blue light? When there's flash or there's a light and it distracts you, it really bat. takes your, your eyes away from the shuttle. All right, wait. Well, that should be round about where we are. I don't remember seeing a flash, but I guess, yeah, if it's clear enough, then it has to be looked into. Yeah, I think they have identified the culprit. It's an unfair advantage of one pair. It's blinded by a flash and immediately, as you can see, Two all. the effect. Lu and Yang back in it. Serves over. Three, two. Okay, good pressure there from Hockey. You can see he just got, got his opponents in a bit of a, almost a muddle and confusion there. Good pressure, good placement, and then maybe just a drops slight it in, yeah. miss hit there from Hockey. Bit. Just the pressure, he got his opponents in so much trouble that his shot didn't even have to be that good in the end. Ah! Oh, Yang. Serves over. Replies almost immediately. Three, four. I wonder if we're going to see a classic here in the third. Coverage by Yang. It's Four. good pressure overall oh. from Chinese Taipei. They're yes. pushing up. They're not giving the Japanese much time. Not really too bothered about the lift because they know that it's unlikely the Japanese are going to lift because it's so much harder to defend the side that the Japanese are. So Chinese Taipei are pushing up any chance possible and almost leaving the back open. Yeah. Almost daring their opponents to lift. Quick points Five, again in the third. Four. So we did Yang. get to some developed rallies in the second. Yang getting very, very vocal there. Good interception. See the Japanese not using the back of the court at all. Making the court really small, but the problem with that is Chinese Taipei's are organized. Six, They're yeah. covering four. well, and it's just relentless pressure for the Japanese. They are moving forward a lot more Thank now you. in the third. Liu and Yang, and they've taken the lead. Set up a nice two-point buffer. Oh. Definitely not enough in men's doubles, but it's a start. Oh, oh that's wonderful. Oh. Serves over. Five. Really six. good return there from Kobayashi. Serve maybe a fraction oh. short. So short, sorry, loose, but. Oh. 
and it's all a, falling their way now, yeah, isn't it? It's just the pressure that they're putting on. You can see seven, Kobayashi has maybe slightly yeah. in two minds what shot to play, but it's how quick they're covering around. You can see their Yang instantly covering the gap, the space. They're splitting every single time the Chinese Taipei on the when they're returning serve and it's covering really well. And it's done enough to rattle the boys in blue. Nice coverage again. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. He watched that from the minute it left his Eight, racket. Five. And they're pushing up so high, the Chinese Taipei. I mean, their defensive base is high, trying to get forward Quickly. all the time. And there you can see Yang almost getting in front of his partner. The perfect lift. Yeah, see Kobayashi there. just had to watch that. Just watching it all the way. Couldn't ask for more accuracy than that. 8-5 up. After trailing, been a blitz of points from Liu and Yang. Oh. Straight to the body. Yang Pohan challenges called out. I actually thought he faulted on that, but if it's a challenge, I don't know if that's going to work out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Oh, very much out. Serve is over. Six, eight. Play. Seven, eight. Didn't quite see it from the angle, but it was just slightly short lift there from Lou. So now just one point in it. Well, every time they need a point, they get it. Yeah, and Lou's he's got such a high base, he's not bothered about the lift at all, and it's an upward drive. You can see that it's going upwards, and he's a big, powerful player, and it's putting them under so much pressure. Chinese side pays at the moment definitely have the, the dominance in the first three or four yeah. shots. And they seem to have the desire and hunger as well. Okay, quick fire defense. And that's gone wide. That's a big point. The Chinese side pays, I don't know how they survived Ten, that rally, especially Lou. He was seven. in all yeah. sorts of trouble. They did fantastic to stay in the rally, and then managed to kind of bleed a cheap-ish mistake from the Japanese. That's Yang's war cry that's now following each and every one of these point wins. 10-7. Straight down the middle. 11, so seven. at the third and final mid-game interval. 11-7 to Lu Qingyao and Yang Pohan. Return to your chair. Eleven seven. So here we go. The conclusion of this match. And Chinese Taipei pair with a good solid lead that they've Play. essentially built up from pure grit, sheer determination. A lot of pressure on Hoki and Kobayashi. That looked in. No, called out. No oh, yes, there is a challenge coming. 
Lu Qingyang challenges called out. Just while they analyse the challenge, I mean, it's, it's been very evident that whichever pair has been Close at the enough. end, yeah. the Japanese currently are out, have, you know, found the conditions a lot more favourable, oh. so it's so important. This first few points after the change of ends, both pairs are fully switched on and don't give away any easy ones. Edge of the line. It's a classic yes, edge of the line. Less than half perfect. as well. Yeah. Oh, everything falling 12, their way right seven. now. 12-7. And Hoki and Kobayashi are going to have to watch out if this lead gets any bigger. Good return. Serves over. That's a good way to stop 12. the rock. And what serve are we going to see? Is it going to be to Yang's well, favoured yeah. forehand? Can he serve slightly across to his right shoulder? No, to his forehand. Well, it's all hands on deck right now. Good and that attack. was a nice little drop in by Hokey. So, 9 12. It's good Nine pressure from Hokey. Well. Just keeps it going, keeps the pressure on, and then eventually takes all the pace out when he can see his opponents are so deep and in trouble. Thank you. Well, this crucial part of this third game. Next two points, next three points. We'll really shift the momentum here. Oh, that's a beautiful shot into the corner. They're finding their range when they need to. 13 9. It's very, very, very accurate return, but I do think the Japanese, their first, especially their serves, just a little bit obvious now. And I do think the Chinese type have the advantage in the first four shots, more variation on the serves needed. Oh, oh. Well, Yang again. Straight onto it. He leaves that. It's gone long. 14 9. 14 9. And the probabilities shifting their way now. That pressure you're talking about, Chris, the mental pressure beginning to build. Really? Oh, wow. Really, Serves really good from. return. 10, 14. And every single point now is just going to be vital because the Chinese type they have a can stretch this lead. They're going to relax. It's going to be more pressure for the Japanese. You know, it's, it's yeah. obvious things, yeah. but. Well, oh, really some good work. Yang stepping in. Oh, that's just gone long. <laughs> you know, he hangs shouting on him every single shot 14. he's in. He's just got to make sure he stays calm. He doesn't get too carried away. I just want to super hype himself. But that shot so close, just drifted over. Throwing himself in, and he put enough pressure on Hoki, who again has Serves made over. easy mistake. Yeah, for me that is, he could just block it straight. He could keep it straight and just get Kobayashi yeah, the didn't lift. Need to push. we know the yeah. end he's down, you have the advantage when you're attacking. He doesn't have to force it. So, 15-11 on serve. That's a nice return by Yang. Both of them. Wow. Oh, great from Kobayashi. I mean, it was obvious that's where the gap was, but the vision and the calmness. He's got his opponent off balance. Absolutely brilliant shot. Acres of space he fired that into. And it didn't even have to be quite as perfect as that, because the gap was so big. Yeah, yeah. In that situation, Lou, his partner's off that far Thank off you. balance. He has to cover the cross. The cross is the key to cover. Okay. Wow. The business end of the business end. 12-15. Slight lull in play. Hokey with the serve. Oh, that's... 
watched it all the way. This time it's gone long. 13 15. And it gets closer and closer. And both pairs rapidly running out of points. Get ready. A spot in the quarterfinals against either Corvey and Labar or Astrup and Rasmussen awaits. Good pressure again by Yang. Oh, brilliant. Wonderful. Kabayashi now is really taking the game on and he's, he's upped his level definitely. Oh, one point back. Takes a big risk there. 14, 15. Steps in, really good shot. He found the space and you can just see what it means to Lu Ching Yao. Flawed. Japanese have really pulled obviously this back when they down, got down yeah. the favoured end. Yeah, exactly. This they've they've really been a lot more comfortable in this near side court. It's so integral as well. They just stay calm. They don't get too flustered. If they play the rally out. They have the advantage with the end. Play. Well, this next three points. Oh, just snatched at it. He was in such a bad position. This brilliant vision from 15. Kobayashi again. He's oh. seen that his opponent has chased forward. He's seen yeah. the gap is over the top, and it was. And it was a good shot, and it's so difficult for, for Yang next. He's so off balance. That's right, he was heading backwards. He was actually barrel rolling backwards. He just snatched at that shot as best as he could. And right now, the Japanese are beginning to pressure. That's, that's fair reward for the shot that was played against 16. them. 15. Yeah, played to perfection. And what a point. That's the point that gives them the lead. Back up from 15-11, remember. Now 16-15. Yeah, massive, oh, massive momentum change. A wonderful shot right into the corner. Well, how many times have we seen Hoki and Kobayashi pull it out? Back from the brink. Very flat over the net. Oh, but Hoki just hardly touched that. Serves over. Still guilty of a couple 16. of mistakes. Oh. Takuro. Body. How on earth did Yang, Yang get, get that, that back? back yeah. <laughs> uh, great vision again by Hoki at 17 16. It's the difficult thing there, Yang. Like, you got one back that, I mean, no one knows how he got it back. He doesn't even know. It was unbelievable. But the, the shot selection, everything feels so panicky. 17, you know, there's the wrong shot, and yeah. it just feels that because it, everything's so stressful and intense, he's going to make at some point the wrong shot choice. He's just got to try and it's almost like his, his, um, he's too excited, if you understand what I mean. He's yeah, just got to calm yeah, himself yeah. down. Because he's so dangerous at the net, but he's got to try and move the shuttle around and it's just slightly calm away. Well, still not 100% beyond them right now. Great return. But they need this yeah. to work. That's good from reaching out. 17 all. This is the thing that's what Yang has to remember. If he can get his partner the attack, his partner's got such a devastating, powerful attack. Brilliant return. Got a net cord. It's so hard to get a good lift. You see how short that lift is. Yeah. And then good placement as well on the attack. That's it. And he's just trying to calm himself down, which is the right thing. He's got to stay calm as the net man. He's the one. He's got to be getting his partner the lift. Well, you can scrub out the first game. You can scrub out the second game. It's the first of four points. That's great from Kobayashi. That's it. You oh, go, I don't know. This is a big, big challenge. Big I'm challenge. I'm sure that's in. I'm absolutely sure that's in. This is the fine line. If it's in, it's brilliant. If it's out, it's a, yeah. a cheap mistake, and 
hits in. It's no, out it's out. out. It's fully out. out. <laughs> Once again, brain sees what it wants to see. I was absolutely convinced. Service over. 18 And there, Lou, who's just double checking. Are you sure? Are you sure that was out? <laughs> 18-17. He made a great move, Louis. You know, he stepped in, he read where it was going. Just Late. slightly, slightly too much on it. Oh, that's and it gone wrong as well. And they had the rally. They had all the pressure on the Japanese. Got to say full credit to Kobayashi. The quality of his shots were quite poor, but he stayed calm. 19, well, he's really 17. stepped up in the last game and a half now. Kobayashi has been... Solid foundation pillar for the Japanese pair to build off. And now two points away from the quarterfinals. This is the thing, the two points they're ahead by. You, you know, Chinese yeah. type had yeah. control of both rallies. Three gifts. Wow. It was called out. Well, Yang out. contesting that one. It's too late now. I mean, you have to challenge right away. Oh, wow. 20 match points. That's, tough. I think that's a tough call. And they were just that's a very it. tough call because they really did think it was in. And I mean, what's a reasonable amount of time to call that challenge? Well, I think it's, it's, it's got to be one. within a second or two, right? They took too long to challenge, definitely. But they were in discussion with the umpire. I don't know if they weren't sure what the line judge signaled because there was obviously a discussion going on. Yeah. Exactly what there is, we can't tell because it's too far away. But yeah. They were asking yeah. the umpire something. So it appeared 20. once they then ended that call, they then did challenge straight away. So it's a bit of a It's a, a, bit, it's zone, a bit harsh, it yeah. It's a bit harsh. Well, having a look at it, Oh, wow. That, I mean, it's so hard to call it. so close. Possibly was out, but without Hawkeye, you know, really slowing yeah. it down and looking exactly if it clipped the outside edge or not. Well, this is a very important point for Moon Yang. And uh, in the yeah. end, Hoking Kobayashi with a pretty easy, comprehensive shot down the line. It's a tough, it's a tough loss, that, for That's, the Chinese side pace. Those two really points. Those two points were the absolute key. They had control of those two rallies, and they missed by literally a whisker. So, one hour and six minutes in, and Hoki and Kobayashi have done it again. How many times we've seen them battle back from the brink. Won by Takuro Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi, 19-21. They never seem to do it easily, but they also never give up. So on to the quarterfinals for them. To play either Corvey and Labar or Astrup and Rasmussen. <laughs> and there's confirmation of it. And Hoki and Kobayashi through to the quarterfinals.
Welcome back to the Adidas Arena in the Porte de la Chapelle region of Paris. And after that, men's doubles. We turn our attention to mixed doubles and a pair right 